Hi, right, welcome, ladies and gents. It's Chris Cameron. Just, uh, just um, readjusting my volume levels here a little bit, just to make sure that they're all right. Uh, that's it. We are a go. Okay, let's begin. So, this one is a bit of a spur of the moment thing. I'm doing a bit of a random one for you guys because, well, I'm just a random person. So, I am playing around with virtual machines at the moment because we are going to do something that is that strays completely off the beaten track, so to speak. We are going to mess around with a scam. Not just any kind of scam. This is an old style scam. It's a phishing scam. Now, once this VM boots up, which shouldn't be too long, it doesn't usually take a ridiculous amount of time to boot up but once we do we're gonna take a look at an email then we're going to take a look at the actual website put and um, pit it against a um, the legit website and we will see just what it look and um, just how bloody convincing this uh, fishing is because honestly man this is just crazy so I'm gonna just put this VM in unity mode uh, which means that it will pretty much be one with my other machine and just to make things look pretty I'm also going to and yes this is me just being a bit of an aesthetic nerd I'm going to just change the theme so that my little desktop background matches because why not <laughs> I mean <laughs> we might as well make it look pretty much aesthetically pleasing Alright, so this isn't malware, so I've not got any antiviruses installed or anything like that. I've already checked the source code. There's nothing completely malicious about the code itself. No tracking cookies or anything. So that's something. I guess that makes a change. Anyway. Let's uh, just whack open a copy of Internet Explorer. We're going to keep the Windows Explorer open for a moment because I need to access the desktop through that. So, right. If I just open up a new window here. We're going to need two things. First, I'm going to crack open the Chase login site to show you what that looks like. Then, we're also going to need a card generator of which I do have somewhere I think it's this one okay so if we go on here click on the chase online logon this is what it looks like this is your standard chase logon for the legit bank okay now if I just go into this and open that up for now, right, what I do need is an image of the original email. I did have one edited. I do believe I still have it. Uh, let's see. Should be in here. Uh, minus a lot of really random stuff. Come on. Load, 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 load. And this is just a folder full of memes. Oh yes, there it is. So let's just load that up. Herp derp derp. When it wants to load up, of course. There. Oh, son of a gun! Now it's just going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? I want you to open with that app. There we go. Right. So here's what it looks like. This is one I picked up earlier, and I did a dare uh, so that I would click the uh, the uh, link here, because this is the actual link that's beneath it. Right. So enough fanning about with that. Here is our legitimate website. We also have an IE link. Um, IE here. So what I'm going to do is first off, we're going to see just what this ak-israel.com is. Now, 
and apparently Alexander Koifman owns this. Okay, so it's an Israeli tourist place apparently. Well, like I'm going to believe it when you see this. Boom. Can you spot the difference? I certainly can. But any normal person probably wouldn't. I mean, just look at how similar they are. They're practically identical. Let's just take a look at this one. Here is the date this site was produced, November 2015. When you take a look at this one, it gives you an exact date. Thursday, December the 31st, 2015. That was the last time this page was updated. If we click this Learn More button, it just redirects us back to this site again. Now, I'm going to press the F12 key and take a look at the source code here. It's pretty much blank. Let's have a look. Ah. That's cool by me. If we have a look at the script, there is some script. There's no HTML, this is all PHP script. So, now that we know that, I'm going to go back to this. If we click this link here, I'm going to open that in a new one. It just redirects us again. Click security, does nothing. Terms of use, terms of use. Oh, did you notice anything fishy? Apart from it sends you to a hashtag. Did you notice anything fishy? Oh yes, then there's an add choices button which of course doesn't work. There's a copyright at the bottom of the page, just as there is here. If we click chase.com up here, it sends us to another hashtag. Interesting. Then we click privacy notice, does nothing. Click privacy notice on this, it does a thing. Quite unsurprisingly, because that's a functional site. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Let's do something. I have a random credit card generator over Nya. Let's see how this phishing works then, shall we? So, I'm going to use the exact same emails and passwords on each of these to prove to you that on this one, it doesn't exist. But on this one, apparently it does. So, without further ado, Let's bring out the emails. The passwords, of course, to each is going to be my favorite. Password one, two, three. <laughs> Best thing ever. So, party time. Let's do this. Um, at yahoo.com because nobody uses that anymore then of course and of course keep forgetting this windows 7 vm is using an american typeface it's pissing me off my at key is the two when it should be down near the tilde what the hell right Anyways, there we go. Already we have a discrepancy. Look at this password. Smaller. Bigger. Smaller. Bigger. Anyway. Click log on on this one. Error message hello one 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 um one one two. Use radio password that and it is not valid. Okay, we can live with that. If I click log on on this one however, skadoosh. And already it starts looking really fishy. So, there's the random card generator. We are going to use that. We are going to generate ourselves some data. We're going to need that in a minute. Okay. In fact, it'll be. Let's create a MasterCard just for giggles. Alright, just to make it look more legit. Now, 
here's where things get interesting. There's the credit and debit card information. There's zip code, driving license, social security number, mother's maiden name, and your death birth. Doesn't this already seem a little weird to you? That they would be asking for your driving license number, your SSN, your mother's maiden name, and just to top that off, your credit card details. Already this is looking fishy as fuck. And then of course there's the point of contact for the account. It wants your email password. Who the hell puts their email password in? I mean, yeah, I can imagine you'd put your email in, of course, if you wanted them to contact you again. But holy crap, are you that stupid? I can imagine some people probably are. They're thinking, oh, it's Chase, they won't take my freaking stuff. And then, holy crap, we look down here. This makes it look more legit. There's no freaking typos on that. What's this, though? Oh, hello, I'm going to copy that shortcut, paste it in a notepad and take a look because that looks interesting. I never noticed that, oh it's a JavaScript void, okay, what if I was to, boot, can't display, okay, I never noticed that before but okay, notice how old this uh, copyright is, 2014. Oh, wow. Okay, let's do this. So we are going to take this. We are going to copy it. We are going to give the name... Uh, we need an expression date. I don't think there is one on those anyway, so yeah. 2016, of course. What's that CCV? Okay. It probably doesn't even need that. Let's give them a really random ATM pin. Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Three oh three. Oh. Ah, I'll leave the expiration date as is. Uh, let's do this. Now you'll notice once I do this, like this, then we are going to do I don't think that press did it. You ain't getting no password. Right, here's a great surefire way. Ooh, copies blanked out. But if we control C, no. You ain't getting no password there. So. Actually, I'm going to be really childish, like this, of course. This is fake, the name is quite clearly fake, 
expiration date and the CMVV are fake. ATM pin is of course. I'm gonna make it the same as the other one I did. It is also fake. That's fake, 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 fake. Fake, fake, so more and more fake. In fact, that was a Yahoo email. There we go. Ooh. Go to select identification code page. Ten points for trying. Driving license number? Oh, okay. It wants an actual number. There we go. The SSN has to be numbers. Son of a gun. I'm going to just be really childish. I'll just do that. And then, once we've done that, we have submitted everything. Your information has been submitted for verification. I seriously doubt that 128 bit encryption. But then, just to top the iceberg, it drops us another. So if I just open a new IE window, freaking hell, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Open up a new IE window. Again, we are going to show you this. Oh, wait. Why did it do that? Oh, I know why. In that case, we need to go back to this. But this is just the absolute... You wouldn't even know you've been fished until you spotted the difference. Legit, fake, legit, fake, legit, fake, legit, fake. It's... Dang! It's even SSL encrypted on this one. Identified by VeriSign, of course. So this is the legit website that it redirects you to after you've been scammed. Well, fished. But anyway, holy crapola! Ten points to the fishers, but holy crap! I'm deducting that ten points for fishing people. That's just evil. I mean, dude, I shouldn't really be shocked at this, but yeah, well, I should and shouldn't at the same time. Now, if I put this into my Google Chrome on here, yes, I'm actually going to risk it. Google Chrome already knows it's deceptive. It knows it's a phishing site. So, of course, I'm going to leave that alone on this machine, because that's on the Windows 10 host operating system. All this is being done for Windows 7. But anyway, I digress. That's interesting. For many reasons. For one, it looks almost the same, minus this, and the spaces, like so. Or also in that one, so I'm not going to complain about that, but yeah. Let's take a look at the source code for that, and then this. So let's put these side by side. Here is the script for each. Okay. They are kind of the same. I'm going to not do anything stupid. Let's have a look at the CSS. There is CSS, of course. Else you wouldn't have that. Okay. HTML on this one. It's simple. But it's a lot more complex than this. Quite clearly. So. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and uh, comment. What did you enjoy about it? Um, if you want to see me do more of these. Once I get more of those emails through. Which it's entirely likely would happen because phishing scams are always popping up. 
So, we're going to take a look at some more of those another time. Of course. But for now we can't. Because I don't have any more. That was the only one I got. <laughs> but anyway. I'm pretty sure we will get some Microsoft Office macro malware. Some proper viruses and all sorts of other fun stuff. We're going to probably destroy that Windows 7 VM by the end of this year. That's my New Year's resolution for 2016 is to destroy that VM. Alright. Which will probably won't take long. Since I could probably just download Bonsy Buddy, a load of tool, but oh god, I sound like Vine Sauce. <laughs> Vine Sauce Joel, man. You're an inspiration to all. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here before this video goes any longer than it has. What are we on, like 20 minutes? Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you guys later.